On the Ozark Empire Fair opens tomorrow. It happens as the CDC reports 11 human cases of bird flu in the United States. Most of those after exposure to birds or cows. It's part of the reason staff at the fair is working hard to keep you and your family safe. Francis Watson joins us live with details on how that is done. Francis. Yes, Paul, I'm back here with my friend. You know, hundreds of people are going to descend upon the fair here tomorrow, and they're going to be taking it all in, especially the animals. And it's why staff and handlers here are working extra hard to limit the spread of germs. I just had a passion for it. Briar Day has been showing livestock at the Ozark Empire Fair in Greene County for years. The future farmer of America says it's one of the highlights of the season. Seeing the people just going around, having fun, showing together as a team. Just, just meet new people. But with all that fun, Breyer says, comes hard work to keep his flock of sheep healthy. We'll go to the vet and get our uh, vet papers before we come to the fair, so then they're all clean and checked out by a professional. Breyer says there's more to showing animals at the fair than just a routine vet visit, and that means taking safety measures at the fair to ward off bacteria. Well, we try to keep them as clean and healthy as we can throughout that whole process, like spraying down our pins with that chlorhexidine and washing the pins down so that it say the gala animals can't give them anything. Fair officials say they also take precautions to avoid any illness to animals or people. Safety is our number one thing on the fair, whether it's a ride or a barn or a trip and fall or whatever. Staff will also spray the animal yards at the fairgrounds for potentially deadly bacteria like E. coli. Well, it's more important for the fairgoer than it is the animals. The animals Everybody has E. coli in them, and every animal has E. coli in them. You just never know when that potentially could break out. For Breyer, cleanliness is all part of being a responsible farmer, a career he's not soon going to lead. As I get older, going to college to maybe judge or do something like that, and uh, stay in livestock as a whole, and specifically, hopefully, sheep, it's just a passion that I have. Uh, experts say, of course, hand sanitizer will work in a pinch, but nothing beats soap and water. So definitely wash your hands with hot soap and water to spread or to avoid rather spreading germs. Reporting live in Springfield, I'm Francis Watson. Paul, back to you. All right. Thank you.